What is popularity made of anyway? How does a person get to be popular with lots of people and have a few close friends, too? Hey, Jerry, there's that new girl in our math class. Oh, yes. Her name's Carolyn Ames. She's a swell kid. Why? Do you know her? Not very well. I wish I did. I don't know what it is, but there's something about her you like. Well, she always looks nice to start with. Yeah, especially when you compare it with some of the weird characters in this place. Mm. yoo -hoo. I had her out last night. Yeah, so I hear. And Tom had her out night before last. Say, uh, Bob said he had her out Friday, too. Yeah, you know what you want. Hi, Wally. Hi. Bill. Hi, Jerry. Oh, say, Jerry, could you let me have that math paper you promised me last night? I just got to get it copied before class. Hi, Betty. Ellie. You can rest your tray here, Jimmy, for a minute. Thanks. Say, Wally, how's the play coming along? Oh, okay, Jenny. Okay. Here, Jenny. Thanks, Jerry. You're a darling. I'll get it back before class. Well, I really must be dashing. See you all later. Nothing like being Miss Popularity. Yeah. 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 Uh, meow, meow. Okay, Ellie. Now, there's the girl that'd really get my vote. Let's ask her over, huh? Okay, yeah, I'll go ahead, ahead, Ellie. Why not? Oh, hi, Ellie. Do you want some? No, thanks. Suppose you come and sit with us? Oh, I'd love to, but you're almost finished. So what? We'll be there till the bell rings. I guess you know everybody, don't you, Carolyn? Hi, oh, hi, 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 Oh, yes, growing pains. I looked in on your rehearsal yesterday. We're all in on it in one way or another. I'm on the costume committee. And Jerry and I are stagehands. Mm, two among a dozen or so. How about you, Wally? Where do you fit in all this? Oh, I'm a one-man team that does a job with no glory attached. I gather the props together, and boy, what a headache. You sound like you need a helper. Could I lend a hand? Would you? <laughs> I mean, would you really? Sure, I'd like it. I don't know anything about props, but I could learn. Well, I need some help, too, Carolyn. Hey, lay off. I saw her first. Say, we ought to get together and talk over those props a little. Could you meet me backstage at 3.15? Oh, that'd be fine, Wally. See you everywhere. I think maybe I'll take Carolyn to the dance Saturday night. Well, better go ahead and ask her if we could work out a double date. Ah, Saturday's soon enough. Hello? Oh, hello, Wally. I... I was wondering if you'd like to go to the Strand to see a movie Saturday night. And then go over to Teen Town, maybe. Or if you'd rather go with the gang on a skating party and weenie roast, we'd have to leave earlier for that, though. But we get home at a decent time. Oh, the skating sounds like loads of fun. Wally has used a lot of common sense in putting the invitation this way. It shows he has thought about what Carolyn might like, and he has implied his price range. So she will have some idea of what he can afford when she makes her choice. Carolyn likes it better this way, too. It's doing the girl no favor to leave it entirely up to her. It puts her on a spot. All right, Wally. On Saturday at 5, then. Bye. Well, that phone call didn't go on for hours. A pretty adult attitude toward telephone conversations. Carolyn keeps a date calendar. Not a bad idea. She'll never have the embarrassment of forgetting a date or of being already an hour too late. Hmm, that's a good note to write yourself. Any night. But especially when you're getting ready for a date. Yeah, you too can do a manicure, Ellie. I might even know what to wear it with tonight if I only knew Bill dug up transportation to the dance. You sure you knew to phone me here at my house? I told him three times. I'll have to be getting home to dinner pretty soon. Take my advice. 
think twice before you start going steady. Don't you ever go out with anyone else at all? Nope. Well, don't you ever want to? On nights like this, I do. I never know what he's planned. He just says, for you to start, Ellie. <laughs> I should think you'd run out of ideas. Well, I'm getting to that point. Hello? Oh, hello, Jerry. Oh, the pots are coming along all right. That's good. Hey, Carolyn, how about a date? Well, uh, I don't, I don't know, Jerry. When did you have in mind? Well, what are you doing tonight? I'm awfully sorry, but I have a date for tonight, Jerry. Tomorrow? No, I'm sorry. Well, call me early next week, Jerry. Okay, Carolyn. Thanks a lot, just the same. Goodbye. <laughs> Can you imagine that, Ellie? He wanted a date for tonight. Sounds like you're asking her so late went over like a lead balloon, brother. Maybe so. Well, let's see what else we can do about tonight. Doesn't look too promising, Jerry. After all, it's no compliment to any girl to call her so late she thinks she's a very last resort. And sometimes a girl likes a chance to get ready for a date. Hey, wait a minute. I didn't mean to scare you out entirely. Oh, anybody I'd want to take tonight would have a date by this time. Gee, where does that leave Ellie and me? I was counting on our double date and your dad's car for transportation to the dance. Hello, Jerry. I thought I saw you here. I've been shopping. Got a cute pair of shoes, bright red. Is that good? Well, I got them for you. Why don't you ask me to the dance tonight? I'd like to take you, Ginny, but I've decided not to go to the dance tonight. Oh? I'm going to stay home to get some sleep for a change. Oh, I see. Sorry, Jenny. I seem to be losing my grip. Well, I'll, I'll see you. Goodbye. Bye, Jenny. Ooh, that was a close one. Hmm? Why? Oh, you know, Jerry, we just couldn't take Jenny. She doesn't fit in with the crowd. Yeah, I'm beginning to see what you mean. And about the car. I'll drive you to the dance, catch a movie or something, and then wander back in time to take you and Ellie home. Swell. Say, I've got to call Ellie. Not very pleasant, is it, Jenny? You see? And you've had it happen before. And unless you get wise, it'll happen again, often. Unless you get wise, you'll find it harder and harder to keep your friends. Hello, Wally. Come on in. Hello yourself. Gee, look at you all. All ready and right on time, too. That's a good deal. Thanks. Mother, are you busy? I'd like to meet my father. Dad, this is Wally Johnson. Well, hello, Wally. How do you do, Mr. Ames? Here I am, darling. And I suppose this is Wally. That's right, Mrs. Ames. How do you do? Well, it's nice meeting you. Oh, excuse me a second. I forgot my scarf. I'll be right back. Don't let me interrupt your eating, Mr. Ames. Thanks, Wally. I was just looking into the world of events before we go to dinner. I tricked him into taking me out tonight. I understand you're having a little trouble with the props or the play. Oh, not too many now. Much as I hate to admit it, though, Carolyn has hunted down a lot of things that we couldn't find any place. Here I am, all set. Oh, Carolyn, I made some brownies today. Maybe you and Wally would like them when you get back. There's some milk in the icebox, too, isn't there? How does that sound? Gee, that sounds good. We'll take you up on it, Mrs. Ames. Thanks. That is a good idea. Nothing is more casual and more fun than raiding the icebox after a date. And it doesn't cost anybody a lot of money, either. Folks know when we'll be home? We'll be home before 11, Mother. Wally used his head, and Carolyn's family can relax.
because she has told them they can count on her being home at some definite time. She's thought about what she and Wally are going to do on the date, whether tomorrow's school day, and how many late dates she's had recently. Do you have your key, dear? The family knows Carolyn will stick to her word. All right. Have fun, you two. I'll take good care of her, Mrs. Ames. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. I hope you know you have swell parents. Nice boy. I like him. Yes, I do, too. <laughs> Carolyn and Wally are on their way to a good time this evening, and to lots of good times, with each other and with their crowd at school, because they're friendly, they're interested in other people, and they're considerate of the other fellow, because they know what it takes to be popular. <laughs>